What's cracking, ding dongs? My name's Tony. I make videos about coffee. Today we're talking about why you should drop that zero and get with the hero. I've had friends reach out about how they're ready to move on from the French press, but they don't want to go overboard on gear. More often than not, I find myself recommending the Clever Coffee Dripper. Similar to the French press, the Clever Dripper is a full immersion brewer. Full immersion just means to steep the coffee. A big difference between the Clever and French press is the use of a filter. Aside from cleaning up the flavor of the cup, it's quite literally easy to clean up. The two biggest complaints people have about the French press is that you get grounds at the bottom of the cup and it's a pain in the ass to clean. The Clever Dripper solves both of those issues. All right, let's talk about the design. The Clever is made from BPA-free plastic with a rubber stopper found on the bottom. When you place the brewer on top of a carafe, it releases a stopper and allows the steep coffee to drain through. Some of the great things about this brewer is that it's inexpensive, it's easy to clean up, and it's hard to brew a bad cup. Let's dig in with how to brew and- Roll that beautiful bean footage. The gear you're going to need is fresh coffee, a clever, a scale, a number four filter from either Melita or Filtropa, a spoon, a kettle, and a carafe. It's not necessary to have a gooseneck kettle. You can heat up the water in a pot and just transfer it to a measuring cup and use a large mug as your carafe. Start out by filling your kettle and setting it to a boil. Dose out 28 grams of coffee and grind it at a medium to coarse setting. The ground should appear similar to kosher sea salt. Prep your filter by folding along the base and side. Insert your filter and add hot water to the clever to preheat the brewer and rinse the filter of any paper taste. Decant into the carafe to preheat the carafe. Dose out your ground, 28 grams of coffee. Give the brewer a shake to level the coffee bed and tear the scale. Start your timer and quickly add 420 grams of water. At the one minute mark, grab your spoon and gently break up the top crust of grounds by stirring three times. You're not trying to go all Thor's hammer on these grounds, you just want to make sure that all the grounds are saturated and in the mix. At two minutes and 30 seconds, place the brewer on your carafe and start the drawdown. Drawdown should take anywhere between a minute to a minute and a half resulting in a total brew time of three and a half to four minutes. Once the water finishes draining through the bed, grab your filter and toss it in the garbage. After that, you should have a tasty cup of coffee. All right, so pro tips. When you're adding water to your bed of coffee, you're not aiming for a slow pour similar to pour over, but you're also not trying to dump the water all out of control like a tidal wave. You have a target weight and you want some control over your pour. If you notice your drawdown is taking 30 seconds and just running through the grounds, you're probably gonna to wanna to fine up the grind. On the other hand, if you notice your drawdown is taking longer than a minute and a half, you'll wanna coarsen the grinds to speed things up. When making grind adjustments, you don't wanna make big jumps. You don't wanna spend all day going back and forth. Above all else, taste everything. You might come across a coffee that brewed a little quicker, but tastes amazing. A lot of things can affect flavor. It's a full on rabbit hole, but this is a great starting point. That's it. That's how you brew a clever dripper. If you found value in this video, please hit that like button and share with your coffee friends. Let me know in the comment section what videos you'd like to see next. If you haven't already, tap subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Whoa.